everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for September 9th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Dead or Alive Arrow Sudoku by Bill Murphy. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have some arrows in the grid. And there are two different types of arrows. The gray arrows indicate that the digit in the arrow must repeat along that direction. So somewhere in these cells is a 1. The white arrows indicate that the digit in the arrow does not repeat. So whatever is here, say this is a 9, cannot also be in these cells. So no 9 in these cells. And those are the rules. Let's get started with that one. Um, this struck me as I was explaining the rules. One can't go here because of the white arrow, and one can't go here, and one is not two. So this is a one. And none of these are one. None of these are one. Uh, this is not one. So one is going to be in one of these cells. Uh, same thing with four over here. Four can't go here because of the arrow. Can't go here because of the box and column. So this is a four. Here we have three. Can't go here or here because of this three. So this is a three. And three is not in these cells. So just like the one, we have three in one of two positions, and then two here, two can't go in these cells, so it goes here. All right, let's continue with the higher digits. We did one through four there, so five can't go here because there's a five here. And that means six is going to have to go here. Six can't go here, so that's six, and then the seven. 7 can't go here, so this is 7, this is 8. And 8 can't go here, this is 5. Uh, we could have done that the other way around. Uh, 5 couldn't go in this box, so I had to fear. Either way. And that is all of the gray arrows. We do need to keep in mind the white arrows. So let's look at those, the ones we haven't looked at yet. 4 can't go in any of these cells by Sudoku, it also can't go here, so 4 is in one of these cells. Uh, 3 can't go here, can't go in these, can't go here, so it's in one of these cells. 1 can't go here, or here, or here, it's in one of these cells. And 2 can't go here, 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 so it's one of those cells. Um, and that is all of the white arrows accounted for, as long as we follow our pencil marks. Uh, we're not going to violate any of the white arrows. So at this point, it's just a classic Sudoku with some pencil marks. So let's see what we can do. Four has to go here, and that's going to place our ones over here. Two has to go here, that's going to place the three and three. Uh, three in this box goes here, and what digit do we not have? One. One goes here, two goes here, and now we really do just have classic Sudoku left. Uh, six can't go in these cells. Five goes in one of these. Six goes here. Uh, seven goes here and here. I'm missing something with six. Six goes up here. Oh, six goes here. Okay. Uh, six in this box goes here. Is that all the sixes? Yeah. Uh, let's go back to seven. Most of the seven, so it's going to have to go there and there. Five goes in one of these cells, but we've limited five in this column, so this is not five, this is. And five in this box has to go here, which means five has to go here because of this five, which means five has to go here and here. That should be all the fives. Um, eight. 
So I go in one of these cells. One of these cells, so 8 goes here, it can't go here. Uh, in this box it goes here, and that's going to place it here and here. And up here. Should be all the 8s. Alright, uh, let's finish off our, our low digits. 2 is in one of these. One of these. And one of these, that's not very helpful. <laughs> um, let's do a little pencil marking. Uh, this has to be 9. So that's going to place a 3 there. This is 9. Uh, one 9 pair here. And here, but that can't be a 1 because of this one. Uh, now we have 1 and 4 here. That is resolved. And 1 9 is resolved. Place four there, nine there, nine here, nine here. That's all the nines. Now we should be able to finish it off. Uh, two and four here, and here, three here, another four, two, and this is a three in the corner to finish it off. That's the solution. Uh, very nice puzzle by Bill. Um, the arrows there aren't trivial. Um, I have to think about them a little bit, uh, especially with white arrows, seeing the restrictions that they give. Um, but very nice flow. Um, and the white arrows interacting with just regular Sudoku, uh, like placed a one here, I believe. Um, and that placed the two. That was a neat interaction. Um, Hope you enjoyed that. I like this variant, um, and I, I don't know that I've said it more than once, if at all. So maybe I'll have to visit it. Um, let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.